This is Moonraker. She's a 38 foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 2002 by Paul Barber. She's been very well looked after. She's been blacked every two years. The last blacking was June 2018. She was serviced every 250 hours, the last service being September 2019. And at 38 feet, she's easy to moor if you happen to be in a congested part of the country. She's equipped to be a liverboard, albeit slightly shorter than most, but she's a lovely boat. The paintwork's in very good condition. There are 200 watt solar panels on the roof there. All the various bits of navigation equipment that you could need. Gas bottles in the forward locker there. Cratch covers in very good condition. It's got glazed panels. And the front cratch board is glazed as well. Storage in these seat stroke lockers either side of the well deck. And we go. Nice front doors, glazed, good solid wood, and then we go. The saloon is 9 foot 3 inches long, there's an L shaped dinette here, that does convert into a spare double berth, that dining table stalls neatly under the gunnels on the starboard side. There's a 22 inch television there, free view, storage under that bottom step, and there's a solid fuel stove, that's a Boatman multi fuel stove. There are three inverters on board. Lighting, by the way, is all LED. The head height is six foot four. Three 300 watt inverters on board. One does the television you saw there in the corner. Another one powers the power down the starboard side. And then a third one in here, if I can open that sends power to the back of the boat. So the galley itself is six foot six inches long, everything you need in here. Four burner gas hob oven and grill, that's a new world cooker. Plenty of storage, there's a drawer with a cupboard underneath it. And one of these carousel type cupboards that I tend to get so excited about. The fridge is next to that. It's a 12 volt fridge with an ice box. That was brand new in September this year, 2019. And on the other side of the boat, further covered space and the sink. So plenty of room to put things. Good sized windows in here. It's a light boat. There is secondary double glazing for the windows in this, this forward part of the boat, by the way. And then we go to the Towards the bar, there's a very good sized storage cupboard, floor to ceiling. And passing that is the bathroom area. It's an unusual arrangement. The loo is on the port side of the boat here. Nice circular basin. That's set over a cupboard. And the Thetford cassette loo is opposite that. Turning round, if you open this door here, there's the shower. But when both doors are shut, it turns into, you lift up that board there with the carpet on it and it turns into a full width shower room with privacy provided by both those doors. It's quite clever. On we go. The rear cabin is the bedroom. There's a single berth here that lifts up for access to batteries and storage underneath and on the right there used to be a mattress, a three-quarter length mattress for the child's bed. I think the previous owner but one was a lady with a child. Nice roses and castles. And the engine sits under these boards here. The engine itself is a beta 35, three and a half thousand hours on that. As I say, it's been regularly serviced. It starts on the button. There's the view from the helmsman's position. So back through the boat we go, it's got three domestic batteries, one starter and a secondary 75 amp hour battery. The lighting's all LED. And hot water on the boat is sourced by either the engine or the immersion heater when hooked up to the landline. But I also say the stove does have connections for a back boiler which can heat the hot water tank and the, towel, uh, the heated towel roll in the bathroom. It's been disconnected at the moment. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.